Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I tried to film this like all day since 10 o'clock in the morning and um, I think it's like, what time is it? It's like almost two o'clock. Oh, I'm lying, it's 1.05. Um, so let's try to bang this out real quickly. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. So today what I'm going to do is talk about my March favorites. Um, so I have some hair favorites and makeup favorites. How's my glasses? I got some new glasses, you guys. It's supposed to be glare free. Like, am I glare free? I don't know. Um, and I have a new setup. So, um, okay, so I know it's a little late, uh, it's already the middle of April, but um, I didn't want to miss my March favorites because I have so much to talk about. And I also have a few things that I didn't enjoy so much in the month of March, um, and I wanted to share that with you guys as well. Okay, so the first thing that I want to share with you guys is this, this little baby. It was a little expensive, but that's okay, it wasn't too bad. This is the Coach Eau de Toilette. Um, they have, um, this is the only Eau de Toilette. They have a few Eau de Parfums, like the Flora, um, or like the Flora One, and then um, they have like the original Coach Perfume, but this is the Eau de Toilette. So the notes are um, pear and also I think cedar in here so beautiful i also like to like spray it in my hair a little bit um and it lasts all day and it's beautiful and i want to put some on right now oh gosh so good it's sort of like um do you remember the dkny scent like the juicy apple one it's like reminiscent of that with the with the pear scent but it's a little more complex with the cedar it's so so pretty I love it the next thing that I want to talk about is this so this is from Amora Vitsa this is the Amor Essence um, so this is slightly like a toner but not quite a toner it's more of a skin softener something that you do before your skincare so that your skincare can go in deeper it's a bit pricey and um, it's worth every penny in my opinion um, it's not for everyone of course because of the price but let me tell you what it does um, over time it's going to help of course like I said um, let your skincare absorb into your skin a lot easier and it, your skin pulls it in deeper but it also has like thermal water from Budapest inside so it's extremely healing and it's also going to help um, with any dark spots that you may have, any blemishes, it helps to clear them up. It's really, really a beautiful product. Like I said, it's not really a toner, but you use it a lot like a toner. So what you do is you splash a little bit in your hand and then you just press it into the skin. Don't necessarily use a cotton pad for this because you want, the price you pay for this, you want every bit of it to go in your skin, whether it's in your hands or in your face. You don't wanna be soaking this stuff up in a cotton pad. You wanna savor every drop. The next thing I've really been loving, this is a new launch from uh, from by Terry. So everyone knows about the classic Balm de Rose lip balm in the pot. Um, and it actually has been like a cult favorite for so long. Many, many years and people are loving this Balm de Rose. But for me, it was a little bit too goopy, a little too messy. I wasn't really a fan of digging my fingers in the pot. Um, and then they also came out with this wand. It was sort of like a lip gloss. The only thing about that is it's the same price as the pot, but you get less product and it's a little watered down because, you know, you use it in a one like a lip gloss. So that was that was a better option, but you weren't still weren't getting very much for your buck. Um, so recently they just launched um, some more products in the Bomb de Rose collection and I've really been loving this one. So this is the classic Bomb de Rose, but it's in a lip balm form like a stick um, I'm really enjoying it the scent is the same and it lingers on your lips it really hydrates your lips um, I use it a lot at nighttime like before I go to bed because I have allergies and 
little TMI, I tend to be a mouth breather. Um, so aside from the humidifier on the side of the bed, I like to put a little lip balm on my mouth, um, on my mouth, on my lips before I go to sleep. And it really helps to keep me from being like all crusty and dried out of them. My Ulta just started carrying Morphe. And um, so I decided to try some things out. And I actually quite, got quite a few things from Morphe. But in March, um, this is what I got. I started with one of these little palettes. And I really want to get the Jaclyn Hill palette. But of course, they're always sold out of that one. Um, so this one is the... Oh gosh, what is this? This is the Jewel Crew 9C palette. And this is what it looks like inside so you have like uh, like a plummy shade here some oranges beautiful gold and this um, called chocolate diamond this brown is perfect for under the lash line and a little on the outer corner very nice so it's like it's a great variety I think so you get you get a pretty good uh, value in this and it was so cheap and I think I'm going to go back and get more of these little palettes. I did get um, like the 3502 this month that I'm trying out. So I'll definitely give you guys an update on that. But for the month of March, I really enjoyed this one. But since I've been growing my hair out, I've made it a point not to wash it as much. So I literally wash my hair like once, maybe twice a week if I have a lot of product in it. Um, and so... What I use in the shower to keep my hair from getting wet is this shower cap. It's actually made in America, of course, but this is called a cookie shower cap. All the shower caps are uh, made by a single mom. Um, she has, she's actually on Amazon. I'll leave, the, I'll leave the link down below. But what I really like about this, of course, the outside is waterproof and the inside is like a cotton blend. Um, so if you do have a blowout, it's not going to flat your blowout. Um, and this band is so tight. Not enough to give you a headache, but uh, very much enough to keep the water from getting in and wetting your hair, which I think is amazing. These shower caps are beautiful and amazing. They're machine washable, but these, of course, are called cookie shower caps. Last thing that I want to talk to you guys about um, is... A hair product since we're talking about hair um, and that is the way memory mist I've been using this a lot in the month of March and um, we've had a lot of cold air I've had a lot of static in my hair and then also it's like going from rain to snow to rain to snow so of course you know my hairs it just doesn't know what to do because sometimes it's so dry sometimes there's so much humidity from the rain so um, this is great because um, if you do blow your hair out it keeps your hair in the same form if you like curls it keeps the curls perfectly and like I like to put a little wave in my hair with a waver and this one um, it really keeps the waves in nicely and keeps the waves like in the in form instead of like letting it get frizzy I really like this stuff this is the way memory miss and it smells really good like gardenias. It's yummy. So, um, now I want to talk about things that I wasn't so happy with this month. And um, this one thing, like, it pissed me off. It didn't even, it didn't even upset me. It wasn't like meh. It was like, this pissed me off so badly. So what this is, I mean, it came in this. These are lashes, and I got them from Benefit. Um, they were really nice because they were like a natural hair brown color. Very wispy, um, really beautiful. The only thing that I hated, hated, hated about them, I don't, I don't know what they're made of, um, but it was so hard to get these things on. Like to stay on because the band was so thick and weird um, and then when I went to pull them off the lash broke like in half so I paid for these lashes to only use them one time and on top of that when I tried to pull it off like it pulled a little bit of skin off with it I'm not sure if I was allergic to whatever these lashes were made of if they're natural hair or what all I know is these are whack 
Um, if you see the real false lashes in the pinup lash, pass. It's garbage. I have like two or three other things that I don't have because I returned them. Um, the first thing is Mac Jeremy Scott palette. So it was a beautiful palette. Um, I'll try to insert a picture. It's a beautiful palette, but it sucked so bad. It was like play makeup to me. The pants were so tiny and the palette was like 80 bucks. Um, the packaging was beautiful. The setup was beautiful. But like I said, the pants were tiny and the actual products were garbage. When I went to return it to Ulta, they told me, oh, oh you should have kept it. It's a collector's edition. Um, and you could have sold it on eBay for three times as much, but I'm not, I'm not really a makeup collector. I mean, I am a makeup collector. I have a lot of makeup, but I'm a makeup artist. So I like to use what I buy. And on top of that, I don't want to spend $80 on a makeup palette that I can't buy, that I can't use. So, um, for those of you who do collect makeup and you don't like to use uh, the makeup that you collect, especially MAC has a lot of limited edition collections. Um, for those of you that like that stuff, more power to you. I totally support that. But for me, um, I don't really want to do it. I don't want to do it. Um, the next thing, oh gosh. The next thing was the, that I actually returned, was the Lancome Tint Idol uh, Ultra 24 Hour Foundation. This stuff sucked the moisture out of my face. I'm dry already, but this stuff sucked the moisture out of my face. So, um, the color ranges were pretty good. I liked the way it felt. I liked the... Uh, I like that I had SPF inside, which is really nice. Um, but for me, it just wasn't my gig. It was way too thick, I feel like. Um, the coverage was amazing, but super cakey and very, very dry. I did find a, uh, a foundation this month that I am totally in love with that I'll do a full uh, review on absolutely soon. Um, yeah, but that one, it, it just wasn't for me. Okay, guys, um, that's it for my favorites and fails. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that you tap that bell um, if you want to get notified every time I post, which hopefully should be at least once or twice a week from now. Um, since I have my new setup, I'm so excited about it. And leave me a message uh, down below and let me know what was your favorite sim fails in the month of March and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! So I don't know how new this is but my Ulta just started carrying Morphe and I know I'm like swinging. I'm swinging in the in this chair. I just hit my cat. <laughs> I just hit my cat. My bad and they're so cute so cute okay so this guy I know I look like the mushroom hey. do I look like a fancy chef do I look like a fancy chef I look like the mushroom from Mario Brothers like the one up like the one up mushroom so this, this, um, I don't know.